And they came together in one particular instance when he did the film of one of his productions of Don Quixote. And this was done in Australia, actually, in an amazing sort of arena, which was a disused air hangar or something. He used to be behind the camera, in front of the camera, superintending the costumes, the lighting, and then dancing the principal role himself, all packed into uh, just a few 16-hour days. <laughs> Yes. Such as? Um, well, there were nightmares a um, long time ago when you try in your dream, uh, in your sleep, you see yourself in, suddenly in Russia uh, on a visit or something, and you uh, try to escape and everybody catches you or something. Mm. Everything goes wrong, ask you and so on and it repeats itself. Well, they stop. That's a real anxiety. Uh, good, 15 years ago, thank God. Mm. So. As a child, did you have nightmares? I, I have a, uh, I remember one dream, and my, my, my mother was so very happy, and she told me again on the phone about it, uh, that when I, as a child, I was very cheerful, cheerful and uh, very happy, and uh, uh, one night I was laughing, a lot. I was laughing, 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 so happy. And, um, did golden you, age. <laughs> did she ask you what you were laughing about? I don't know. I can't you don't remember know. now. You I can't remember, remember now. And yet, you were extremely poor when you were that little child of six, were you yeah. not? But it didn't matter. No. But I guess uh, playing on the street, uh, jumping over the paddles, uh, was enough. I hope it's not too fanciful to say that if when, oh. when I watch you dance, sometimes, there's a leap, which, if I had to describe it, I'd say was sheer joy. And I don't think you ever feel that sheer joy after you were a child. Not really, not sheer joy. Well, I do, I do. Or you couldn't dance anymore. But what I can. do you think? But I can. And, and I dance. Jay, and right. I dance very well. I know. And I can dance very well now. And then then why should I think of black days? All right. But it, you know, black but days will be very just as entertaining as good days, right. you know? So why don't they come spring on me and they surprise me? And it will be kind of excitement, you know? When you're old and you know, suddenly the black day arrives and it's very exciting. So you won't plan? You <laughs> don't, don't plan? I don't want to plan. No. No. No obituary. No retirement. Some bubblies. I'm already 42, almost 43, and uh, average dance probably is 60 or 65 years old, or 70 if you like it. Uh, 
So there is license only for um, 25 to 30 years on Earth. Do you have positive feelings about younger dancers learning from what you've done? Well, I hope so. I mean, I, I hope um, they'll go home and think about it. Uh, maybe I'm not ideal, maybe far from ideal, but um, I do think uh, that what I do on stage is not easily forgotten. Uh, it leave, uh, it will leave deep imprint on them. Is that because of the spirit of what you do? Uh, not only uh, spirit, desire, excitement, but also uh, expertise, knowledge, uh, an appliance of it, no? How I apply myself to it. And obviously I, uh, you know, after 23 years of dancing, uh, I do have something to offer, special. And um, even if I'm mistaken, uh, it is important to be remembered. <laughs>